Hi, everyone. Welcome to our show, Coffee with Chris. We have some great partners with us today from the Affinity Network that we love to introduce you to, talk to you about. We have Vilia and Jennifer from Angela Hospice in Livonia. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you, Chris, for hosting us today. Thanks Everybody for having us. Pick up our cups today because it's time for Coffee with Chris. <laughs> All right. How does everybody like their coffee today? Are they like black or like sugar? How do you how do you like it? I like mine str strictly black. <sighs> I'm a little sweet girl. I gotta have a little sweetness to that tart. <laughs> I'm with you, Jennifer. I like mine uh, one cream, one sugar. Uh, with there that. you go. That's great. Well, everybody, welcome to our show. Today we're gonna talk about what hospice service is really and what differentiates Angela Hospice in the community welcome to our show coffee with chris our mission is we were supposed to play a little video there didn't even play <laughs> welcome to our show Been... coffee with chris our mission is to provide you with home care tips education and resources to ensure you receive the quality care you deserve in the comfort of your home all right great so Vilia. First, uh, I'd like to talk to you about, she is the uh, community liaison uh, and Tom and uh, Jennifer is the marketing development, uh, marketing and development of the team. Billy, uh, can you please just introduce yourself and tell us about how you got into hospice and then also Jennifer after? Yes, thank you, Chris. First of all, thank you for um, inviting us to be such great guests on your show with Coffee with Chris. Um, my name is Vilia. I am the community liaison with Angela Hospice. And what basically what I do here is I help um, connect individuals and community partners and provide education in the community about hospice and the importance of hospice and what options are there for families to choose. Wonderful. That's great. And so how long have you been with uh, the organization? Uh, yeah. So thank you, Chris. Um, I've been with the organization for a little over two years. Um, and how this journey started for me was um, my father himself was on Angela Hospice Care about five years ago. And the team was just amazing to work with and provided the family with the extra education, support and resources. Because as you know, it's not just the individual going through hospice care, it's the family also going through the process and the transition. And they, everyone as a unit needs that extra support, education, and uh, resources to get through that transition. So with that, um, I had firsthand experience with Angela Hospice Care five years ago and wow. was simply amazed by the work they did. They were, I call them my angels, Angela Hospice, angels as they say. Wow. And they were really helped me through my per, our personal journey. And so then five years later, I received this calling and it was like a nudge of, you know what? There's not enough education out there that needs to be more raised alert that, hey, let's not wait to the very last minute to talk about hospice. Let's start to prepare for our end of life transition. And let's start to see what that looks like and how we can provide more comfort and pain management for those families and for the individuals going through the hospice care and have yeah. that support. So with that said, that's one of the reasons I was my calling to be that beacon of light and education and support in the community for families who don't know when is it time for hospice? When do I ha start having that conversation? I, I, I like you, how you feel. I've never forgot the moment when my loved ones and close ones in my heart passed away and the support that they received made life so much easier. And I can see um, just by you explaining why you went into it, you're, how passionate you are about it. I mean, I know you just in general with, with working with you is that you truly put your heart in everything and it, it makes sense. And I would want somebody to be part of a hospice organization to walk into my home or just be on the field to really, truly get that connection. But thank you so much for sharing that. Jennifer, tell me, like, how did you get into the hospice world? <laughs> oh, again, I, I reiterate exactly what V has shared with everyone is that thanks for having us on, Chris. We appreciate it. We, we love telling the story about Angela Hospice and the wonderful things that we do here. Um, I've only been with Angela Hospice just a little under five months now, so I'm, I'm a relatively newbie here at the organization. Um, I was brought here uh, by, unfortunately, is just like V's story is having someone and in my life was with my mom. Um, was in hospice care 
for a couple of weeks before uh, we lost her. And I wanted to give back. It was uh, definitely a calling for me. Um, I've been told that I have a hospice heart and it's definitely in the right place. Um, I was so very touched, uh, not only the care my mom, of course, received uh, during her time in hospice, but more so exactly what V said is the care that my family received during and after mom's passing. Uh, you know, quite often hospice care is, is only thought about with the people that are receiving the immediate care that are in the system, if you will. And, and hospice is so much more than that. It's the comfort and the caring, not only of the families uh, that are there with the loved ones, but the ones even uh, suffering services or suffering after the person passes. So um, I'm, I'm here to give back and in my role as director of development, I oversee all the marketing, communications and fundraising efforts of the organization. It warms my heart continually to be able to have that connection with people that are unfortunately going through what you know, V and I have gone through and countless and thousands of others of people that have gone through. So it's, it's my joy to be here and, and our, our logo is, you know, take us under your wing. We'll take you under our wing. And it's truly that, that we love to give back. No, that, that's great. Thank you for sharing that. I, I tell you that in itself is the primary purpose of why people use us is we, as we know it, is that when we step in like time, time in our life changes where we can kind of spend that, that really important time with the, our loved ones that are passing. And we felt it. All of us have, have, had something dear in our heart where, you know, we started doing personal care and home and, and, and provided the care and it started to take away the conversations that were really important during that time to talk about. And, you know, I think it sounds like that all of us had that experience where we realized like having the support and help were made, made the, you know, the last days with our loved ones a little bit more sweeter, you know, and more feeling, feeling of, 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 you know, during this process, when they do pass away, no regrets, you know, like we feel like we did everything we can for them, mm -hmm. you know, and that's a really good feeling. I feel like in general, if the public is hearing this is that, you know, you want to make sure that you can, can do as much as you can for them. By the, at, so that way you feel that, you know, when they do pass and it helps, and you'll never forget them as we know, right. They're with us forever. You know, the memories and the, the things that we, we, we come across in our environment, we, you know, we could walk by a picture or walk by a, or we could wear a certain clothes that, that uh, shirt that they bought us and always remember them, you know, but uh, it's, it's with smiles, you know, and, and memories. So uh, I, I want to know, and as I'm sure everyone was curious too, like all these hospice companies, all these home care companies are out there and all that, but really what makes Angela Hospice different than, than the other hospice companies? And I'll have Vilia, you, Vilia, Vilia, I'm sorry, you could take the mic right now and then you can tell us, and then Jennifer, I'd love to hear from you what differentiates uh, Angela's Hospice. Wonderful, thank you, Chris, and great question, absolutely. So what does make us different? As we kind of touched upon it a little earlier, um, a, a lot, we're a nonprofit faith-based Felician ministry. So our core values align with the Christ-like care. And in our mission, it's the compassion, the dignity, the respect that we treat our families and our community that we service with the under your wing type of uh, mo motto and, and what we, you know, we take you underneath the wing and guide you through that whole process. So not one of the main differentiators that we have is that we have a care center here on site in Livonia, which many people don't realize, but unless they drive down through in Livonia on Newburgh, on the right hand side, you see this beautiful, surrounded by beautiful gardens and um, transparency and a beautiful building just set in the green. That is our care center, which welcomes with open arms all individuals who are facing the end of life transition and need that roundabout 24 hour care and need more specific care. That's what that care center is designed for to take those types of patients and it families. It is beautiful, really it is. 
and and it's really inviting and it really we, we you can see the love that comes through that and the team and the team put, surrounds it with that love and that compassion again aligned with our core values so is that being one of the unique um options we yes we we are unique because we have that option an opportunity for to service those types of uh, families and, and individuals going through hospice we also have an amazing um prenatal and uh and pediatric hospice program and above other programs that I'm going to go into detail, or I'm going to have Jennifer, my co-partner Jennifer Dale actually go into detail about as she talks about the development and the different programs. These are just a touch upon a few of them. We have an amazing grief support program that many people are not aware of. And because it's aligned with our core values and our core mission values of affiliation ministry and mission, we're able to provide this free grief support to anyone in the community who needs that to help navigate through their grief journey. And as well as you know, Chris, um, COVID has brought us all into a more of a touch-based reality of how death is so real, correct? Yeah. And made us realize about what how important it is and how we need to navigate our personal feelings through grief. And so we have a, uh, licensed clinicians here at our grief care team that can actually provide that type of service through a virtual support group or an individual one-on-one. -on -one basis and that's all confidential through our grief support care program and they will part of our mission statement and our missionary missions we are able to provide that type of care to anyone you don't have to be on hospice to receive that grief care uh, information so again you can reach out to our number 734-464-7810 to learn more about that free grief support program and that's just just one of the amazing programs that we can offer because of our uh, mission, our core values, and the wonderful team that we have here. And without further ado, I'd like to turn it over to Jennifer Dale to enter or, or ask any more questions. Thank you. Yeah, that, that's great. I think that having uh, free support is, is like the essential of the pillar of like why, why someone wants to even learn about our services because it, it's a very important decision that you'll never forget. On uh, the number that you I put on there, is that correct? This is the number that our, our people can reach you guys. 734-464-7810, correct? Correct. Okay, yep. So I just put that on the screen so everybody can see that. And it's so, yeah. You know, what you said was was on point. And I think it's really a highlight of what people should understand is that there's no cost or consultation or anything you should ever worry about during this making this decision. It, it's more so is that you offer a lot of education and also support that's way before you even decide on if you don't even you know, not sure if you're on hospice or on the fence, first get educated and that, that you have that support. That's great. And then Jennifer, tell me like what in your eyes and you feel uh, that differentiates uh, uh, you from other hospice organizations? Oh, well, you know, you know, Chris, uh, I can't say enough of exactly what we mentioned. One of the biggest things that people don't understand or even know in, in, and V did a beautiful job of, of showing and, and sharing with your listeners and viewers is Angela's Hospice Grief Services are available to anyone. Uh, you don't have to have uh, an oper uh, someone that has passed or someone that is receiving any kind of Angela Hospice Services. It's available for anyone. And I think that's what makes it unique. And, and that's what we talk about in, in our marketing and our development efforts is that our services are just not confined to our care center here in Livonia or in your home. Um, it is available to everyone. So when we're talking about doing fundraising, we have special events and we are just so thankful and grateful that we are coming on the other side of the coronavirus and it's giving us an opportunity to open back up our facilities, hopefully soon, safely and having events. We're having a golf outing coming back in June. Um, we have a couple of auctions that are live and, and are virtual. So you don't even have to leave the comforts of your home and your cozy blanket. Cause you know, we are in Michigan. So it is kind of winter still here. Um, at least for this minute, wait 10 minutes, it'll change, but it gives us an opportunity to reach out into the community, do some fundraising. Um, our programs are very interesting for our fundraising efforts because you can designate your donations to the organization and where you want those monies to go for. V did a great job of explaining 
the uh, some of the different programs where we have with our pediatric uh, services, our prenatal services, and of course our continuing care services and palliative care services. And you can, when you give us a donation, no matter the amount of the donation, whenever you give us a donation, it's 100% your decision where you'd like it to go. You can put it in the unrestricted pound. Uh, fund that we have that we use for services like the Good Samaritan services, which are programs when someone comes into our care center that financially cannot cover the care that they need into in our center or in their home. We have a Good Samaritan fund that we can tap into to help out and assist those. Um, we have different organizations with our veterans programs where we love and honor and respect our veterans for not only the service that they gave, but they continue to give. Uh, they are our heroes, our true heroes, and we have a wonderful program here. So all these different uh, opportunities of uh, plan giving, uh, you can set up a, a, a charitable remainder trust where you benefit while you're still living, uh, where your family benefits after you pass on, but also Angela Hospice does. A lot of those things are explained on our website, as well as you can give us a call here at the office, and we're happy to walk you through. No pressure, no obligation. Um, it's your choice 100% all the way, but we're here and we're happy to guide you along that process. That's great. It sounds like the all the support is there and all, each individual person, if you want to talk to you about it, is, 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 is somebody is, is you know, on your side and, and being able to talk to you. I, I love that. Um, that you could, I can tell, is that if there's a question to be answered, is there, a, is there something that you want to honor your, fa your family on? And which is really important, especially if your your loved one's a veteran, is that that's that whole process and that ceremony is is mm -hmm. it's so honorable, you know, and it's respectable too. And, and that's that's obviously we want to highlight the service that they provided for us, and and, and we carry on that legacy, you know, for the family and the grandchildren to be able to see and feel that, you know, um, I love that you guys do that. And I know that I've had plenty of family members have had you guys and nothing, but you could just, just your review speak, speak for itself, you know? So thank you for your, your time. And I wanted to know is that if someone were to contact you, I, I know I put the phone number up right now, but also too, is, is I wanted to say under the website here, is that another way that people can find out and learn more about you guys? They go to your website, I'm assuming. Yes, um, and Jennifer can probably go into more details on that, but we have a, a user-friendly website that has different tabs um, for resources, and just feel free to browse through the different tabs. It comes up with, it has our list of events that are coming, are planned, as a list of the resources for professional providers, but as well as for families who are caregivers, and that can actually, there's videos on there, there's um, related articles, anything that can help support those the family in need that needs that extra education and knowledge on hospice. That's great. So everybody, please support Angela's Hospice and and uh, go to their site. And then also too is is uh, you know Vilia and Jennifer, please reach out to them. You know you can call them and anytime on the you know the phone number their phone number. And then just if you have a question about something, you know, or and it, they're so approachable and they're willing to help you guys. Well, thank you so much for being on our show. Everybody raise their cups up for coffee with Chris. It was a pleasure having coffee with you today. <laughs> thank you for your time and grateful for that. And so we will talk to you soon. And I'm sure we'll be on for another special topic with coffee with Chris. Thank you, Chris. Thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. Welcome to our show, Coffee with Chris. Our mission is to provide you with home care tips, education, and resources to ensure you receive the quality care you deserve in the comfort of your home.